everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Land 2. In this episode, we're going to start off with this hippo level. It's This is a really weird level. Most Mostly, you need to stay inside this little bubble. Which, basically, you move around in it much like you do in water or the sap. Except if you start falling, it's it's really difficult to regain your, your air. It's basically... There's a lot of... There's, this level is really easy in itself. There's just a lot of bonus coins to grab. A lot of them involving this bubble. Hey, there's more birds. Little birds. Yeah. So, yeah, the bubble. See, there's a little arrow in the cloud. Look, if we can fit right inside the little... It's pointing up at this little block because... Money! Which can't make use of, but whatever. I can, can shoot, I can shoot fireflies from here, too. Whoa! It's a different kind of cheap cheap. I don't know if that's pointing at anything. No, it's not. Anyway, the point of this level... This is the only level where you're required to get the bonus bell. Because you can see it gives you a different exit. This is the only level to have a little thing like that. For good reason. Oh, I'm gonna get a bunny thing. The one time I don't really need it. Because getting getting the bonus level takes you to a space zone. Space. And in the space zone, there's less gravity. And I can't actually use the bunny hood. See, I, see I'm tapping the button when I'm in the air. But I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing any actual fly floating, since all I do is float. So in this level, in the space zone, it's preferable, preferable, bleh, to have the fire flower, especially because you spend so much time in the air and you move so slowly. Hey, there's a heart up there. That way, when if one of those little uh, pig cannonball shooting things is about to shoot a cannonball at you, you can sh fire, shoot a fireball at it. <sighs> the jumps, the jumps, since the jump is so unusual, it's a little difficult to gauge. A what? Ass. Anyway, this is pointing up. Oh, it's right here. Because of this. Uh, there's a secret block around here somewhere. Maybe it's, whoa. I'll get it. Get it straight up? No? Oh well. Oh, that's why. It's telling you to go up over here. Anyway, fun little fact. This is the first Mario game where you go to space. Space? Let's go to space. I love space. Because, well, Super Mario World, you you can probably argue that that the Star Road is space, but it, the levels within aren't, aren't really s space levels, so to speak. Like you know, kind of like this is. Let's see, when does Mario go to space next, though? Didn't happen in Yoshi's Island. And it didn't happen in Super Mario 64. Nor Super Mario Sunshine. Ah! So I guess he doesn't really. Oh! Um, oh, it was just on my, in my. I just had it. Super Mario The Thousand Year Door. That's it. Get shot to the moon. And you could probably get those if. You can get a running start or something. Or something to jump off of, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, Super Mario Thousand Year Door goes to space, kind of. The moon, but still. Oh, I forgot about those blocks at the end. I still wonder what's inside of them, because I, I don't think I've actually ever finished this level with a fire flower. I'll find out, I'll find out someday. 
Maybe someday I'll I'll cheat around and make sure I finish with a fire flower. Anyway, again, this is the I don't really count the hippo area as a part of the space zone. It's just a way in. So the space zone only really has two levels. It's already at the boss level. And this, this music here, I'm going to turn up the volume a bit. This is my favorite song in the game. This level's a little different. The gravity's even less present. It's, it's a scrolling level, and you can basically move through the air, or the... I say air, but you can basically move through space as if it were just water. So yeah, I'm going to be quiet for a little bit so you can listen to this awesome music. I really like it. It only plays for this one level. And this is this is a really tough level. I, I used to have a lot of trouble with it when I was younger. It's not so bad now that I'm a more experienced platformer. Ooh. The, st the stars basically act, act as obstacle enemies that you can't kill. You can get a bunch of coins in there, but I don't. I can't really pick them up anyway. There should be a star man around here somewhere. And I mean that as the power up, not all these stars floating around everywhere. It's a star with a happy face, not an angry face. Also, you can't spin jump in space either. <laughs> there it is. Uh, nope, I can't get it. Oh well. All I, all I would have really used it for is a shortcut through the... If you have the Starman, you can just walk or run right through these other stars. Oh well. A little challenge. Alright. Boss time. They even give you a power up right here. And you can float like this in the boss level too, so it's basically just a rabbit all the time. I'll turn the volume back down a little bit. Ah, I forgot about that. Anyway, this is Tatanga. He, he, he was the boss in uh, Super Mario Land 1. He's returned, especially for this. Ah! That's mean. Alright, since this is a scrolling level, I'm just gonna cut forward to when I fight the boss. Alright, we're going back in. Hmm, when Mario goes through the pipe, does it look like his body goes before his head? It's a little weird. Ah! I had to have a plan. Yeah. This is it. Ha ha! I conquered Tatanga again! I say again, because like I said before, is the boss from Super Mario Land 1. The final boss. Yeah, now we have the space coin. Which means we have all six golden coins. Which will open this door with the name of the game on it for some reason. Which means we could access the final level. Except we're not going to go there quite yet. And you'll find out in the, in the next episode why we're not doing that just yet. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye.